What's up guys, back with another banger video today. Just kidding, this video sucks actually. Never done a video like this, it's not gonna be like any other video I've done on this channel before. Um, as some of you might have seen, our home field, Wild West Paintball in Arizona is officially closing down. Completely out of left field, we had no idea it was coming. We just found out this week, a few days ago, um, that this upcoming Sunday is gonna be the last day it'll ever be open. Um, yeah, so I just wanna talk about it a little bit since this has been such a huge part of this channel since it started. Yeah, so basically, uh, for those of you that don't know, Mr. Lau is the owner of Wild West Paintball. He doesn't own the land. There is a farm right next to the field, a ranch farm, whatever, something like that, that owns the land. The owner of the land decided to sell the land for a lot of money, I don't know, the specifics, I don't, you know, I, I know a rough idea, but I'm not gonna say it. I just don't wanna say something that's not true. Yeah, regardless, he sold the land and uh, Wild West has to go. Unfortunately, it's probably gonna end up being another apartment complex or something stupid like that. Yeah, so I mean, at the end of the day, it sucks. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It really sucks. There's essentially two fields in Arizona for speedball, competitive speedball. It's Battle Zone and Wild West, and now we're just down to Battle Zone. Wild West has been such a huge part of my life over the past year and a half or so. Uh, if it wasn't for Wild West, I would not be sitting in this chair making this video right now. I wouldn't even have this channel. I probably would never have played paintball again. Having a field that was that close to where I live was amazing, but not only the closeness to where I live, it was just the environment that was created there. I was able to walk on with my little brother, having not played in, I don't know, 15 years, and feel comfortable enough to go there, go there again, go there again, and eventually start playing speedball with some of the guys there, and then it just kind of turned into what it is now. The perfect scenario to create this situation with Arizona Pole Position and the YouTube channel. Uh, we basically had complete freedom at the field to do whatever we wanted to do, so it was awesome. You know, I don't think we're ever, probably ever gonna see that again unless we have our own field. Yeah, I mean, some of the best relationships of my life I've met there. There's people that I will be friends with forever, even outside of paintball, just from this environment that Wild West created for everybody to come together and just be friends and hang out and play paintball. Obviously, we put in a ton of work and time late last year, early this year, to rebuild the field. We peeled up all the turf, put the new turf on, I made the whole rebuilding series on it. Um, it definitely sucks that we did all that and then we only had it for like, what, six months or so. Uh, I don't regret doing it. You know, it was fun along the process, rebuilding it. It was a cool learning experience and made cool content out of it. Um, yeah, so I don't know what we're gonna do because technically a lot of that stuff, like the turf and all the bunkers, were paid for by us. So we're gonna figure that out as we go, I guess. You know, it's one of those things where I know a lot of people are really upset about this, but at the end of the day, I've always been a huge believer that you can't get upset about things that are out of your control. You can only control what you can control. Getting upset about something like this, just, you know, it definitely sucks, but I'm not gonna let it ruin everything we have going with the team, with the YouTube channel, and just everything. We're gonna find a way, we're gonna make it happen. You know, everything's gonna be a little bit harder, a little bit more expensive than it was, but that's okay. It's just another road bump on the journey. Uh, I'm not gonna stop with the channel. We're, pole position is still a team. We're still gonna be competing. We're gonna be practicing. Um, for the meantime, we're probably gonna be playing a lot at AZ Battle Zone because that is like literally the only other option we have right now. Uh, nothing against Rafi and Battle Zone, it's a great place. Um, it's just a little bit further away for most of us and obviously more expensive. BKW opens back up though. They're actually gonna have two fields down in Tucson. So we're probably gonna be heading there more often just because their turf there is incredible. Their whole facility is incredible. Um, so yeah, that ideally we'll be playing there more often. Yeah, I don't wanna say we're gonna open a field, but long-term goal, a lot of people on the team do want to open a field. So that eventually will be the goal we wanna do. Obviously that takes a lot of time a lot of money, a lot of labor. So for the time being, it's gonna be Battle Zone and BKW. But yeah, hopefully in the future, we can sort of reignite what we had with this freedom and just have our own feel to do whatever we want to do on there. So yeah, again, Wild West closing. The last day it'll be open is on Sunday. What's the date? Sunday, July 14th, 2024. The last day for Wild West. Sucks, sucks, it sucks. 
It's gonna make things harder, but that doesn't matter. We're just gonna get past it. I'm gonna keep making content, gonna get better. Um, yeah, we're gonna figure it out, you know? No hostility towards Mr. Lau or the landlord. It was a business decision. They did what they had to do. I understand it. Um, pretty unfortunate timing, but you know, it is what it is. Once again, control what you can control. I can't control them selling the field. No one else can except for them. It's their choice. We have to just roll with the punches and move on. Yeah, I just wanna thank everybody though, um, especially my teammates, all the people that I've met at Wild West. The Wild West era is ending, but I'm never going to forget this period of time from when I first walked on until today, just how much. Alexa. So yeah, thank you to everybody. I'm never going to forget the memories that I've had here. Uh, the year and a half period where from when I walked on until today has been some of the most memorable, transformative memories and experiences of my life. Uh, I didn't think I would be sitting here with a YouTube channel with like people that watch my content. I didn't think I would be competing and playing tournament paintball. I picked up my gun in a shed, went to Wild West, and then yeah, here we are. So yeah, like I said, the Wild West era is officially over, but the, you know, the journey is not over. Thank you so much for all the support you guys have shown this channel. Thank you again to all the people that have made Wild West what it was. It was an iconic piece of Arizona paintball history. I, I'm so excited that I was able to be there and not only be there, but I was able to pick up my camera and document just such a massive window of just culture, paintball culture that we created at this field, at the tournaments, as a team. It was just, yeah, it, it's un, unforgettable for me. I'll, I'll remember these people and these memories for the rest of my life. So I really just wanna thank everybody that I've ever met in the field that ever worked on Wild West, that ever came out and played there, especially the people that came from the channel. You know, they messaged me and said, hey, can I come out and play? I have no experience. They came out, now they're on the, players are on the team going in tournaments, like Trent is fucking going crazy in the snake out here. It wasn't the field, it was just the environment that we created with just positivity, happiness, teamwork, growing, progression, just everybody was on the same page. It was just one of those magical, magical scenarios where everything clicked and everything just made sense. With that said, the last day of Wild West, again, this Sunday, July 14th. If you are in Arizona, I encourage you to come out. It is going to be crazy. There's gonna to be tons of people there. We're gonna try and go out with the biggest bang we can. I'm gonna make a dope fucking video because this is gonna be the literal last day. I'm probably gonna cut a piece of turf off bring it home because I spent so much fucking time rolling that turf and lay it and hang it on my wall or something. Thank you guys again for everything. I can't believe I'm sitting here making this video. I feel like an official YouTuber now that I've sat on a chair and just talked staring at the camera. For those of you guys that have watched this far in the video, I have had some footage I recorded at Wild West earlier in the year, like two videos worth. And I didn't make a video out of them. I can't remember why, I just got so backed up or something and I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna leave them on my hard drive. And I couldn't think of anything to do with them. And I was like sitting here thinking of this video of what I was gonna say. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a fucking dope ass edit out of these clips because otherwise no one is ever gonna see them. So what you're about to watch right now is just random gameplay footage of Wild West, hopefully turned into a sick edit. So yeah, thank you guys again. Hopefully I see you guys at the field in Wild West. If you're there and you've never met me before, be sure to come say what's up. I'll post a picture of you on my Instagram or something. I give you stickers, but I'm out of stickers. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep this thing rolling. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting the channel. And I will see you in the next video.
Wild West paintball. We out here.